Hello YouTube, this is UMOS03, and now I want to give a review of the iPhone OS 4 update. This is the iPhone 3GS. Uh, it was released back in June 2009, so it's a year old now. And I want to show you guys uh, OS 4 and how it makes the iPhone 3GS a lot better. Basically, the the uh, the iPhone OS 4. You know, Apple says, "Oh yeah, there's a hundred, there's over a hundred new user features." I really only found like 22. Um, but maybe that's because, you know, 78 of the features are really tiny and insignificant and, you know, no one really knows, you know, what the hell they are, what they do or anything like that. Let's start with the most important feature. Like whenever, whenever you think of iPhone OS 4, you probably think of multitasking and that's the biggest feature. I'm just going to double tap the home button and up comes a multitasking bar right here. Everything else besides the home screen wallpaper is in black and white. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but anyway, here's the multitasking bar. These are the all the apps that I've used uh, recently. And yeah, I can just scroll pages. There's actually a built-in iPod. Uh -oh. There's a built-in iPad, iPod to the multitasking bar where I can start playing music. I can go straight to my iPod icon. Um, I can also lock portrait rotation. So if I go, if I click on that, portrait orientation lock. So I can go to notes. And normally, if I rotate it, it would rotate. But since I locked my portrait orientation, it does not do that. So, you know, if you're lying down in bed and you want to type something and you're just like this, and but then it turns sideways and then you have to, like, readjust yourself, uh, now you don't really have to do that. So now it's a lot simpler and better and easier to use. And if I want to unlock portrait orientation, just click it again. I can play music. Switch songs, it's all right there in the multitasking bar. These are all the apps that I've used recently, so I don't have to go back to the home screen at all. If I want to go from notes to calculator, there it is. Just a quick flip over. If I want to go to YouTube, it's working on it. And there's YouTube. If I want to go to Safari, there it is, and it loads up the Safari page I was just on. So that's actually very cool. It's very intuitive. It's very uh, quick. So that's multitasking. I actually just gave you uh, two features in one. So that was multitasking and portrait orientation lock. The next thing I want to do is show you... Um, show you the home screen wallpaper. I can set the home screen wallpaper to anything I want it to. Set as this is my current home screen wallpaper. It's my aunt and uncle in Hawaii. Um, so that is that. And I can set that by going to settings, um, wallpaper, and just picking out the wallpaper I want. Let's say I want to switch it to this guy. I'll just go to set, set lock screen, set home screen, set both. Let's set this as the home screen. And there it is. Here's my new home screen. So it's actually very easy to use. And please know that you need iPhone OS 4 to be able to do that. Or you need an iPhone 4, the actual device, because that already has OS 4 on it. Um, so that's the home screen wallpaper. There's actually, there, I mean, there's also the unified mailbox. So if I go to mail and I just get out of this individual email and I go to all inboxes, then I can read all the emails from all of the um from all of the inboxes that I have. So say you have an, a Hotmail and a Gmail account and you want to put that in just one, just go all the way to email, click on all inboxes, and there you have it. So that's actually very cool. It's very convenient and it's a lot faster. So that helps out a lot. A much better mail program. You can actually do a couple of secret things that I won't tell you about in this video. Um, there's tap to focus video. So if I go to camera and then I go to, I flip over to video, and then I can tap to focus on particular things. I can also do that while I'm recording. I won't show you that right now, but you can kind of do that wherever you want while recording. So that's actually really cool. Uh, cellular data toggle. I know uh, you currently have the, avail the ability to turn off 3G and just use Edge. But if you want to turn off all cell phone network, like entirely, you can just go to settings, general network, and then go to cellular data, turn it off. And that means that you're saving a lot of battery, 
but that means that you also do not get to use texting, you don't get to use your phone, and you have to have Wi-Fi to get on the internet. So it basically turns into an iPod Touch at that point. But uh, that's actually really cool. It saves a lot of battery, and that's something that a lot of people have been excited about. Um, there's a detailed passcode lock, so currently on the iPhone and iPod Touch, you guys have probably seen this, there's a four number, there's a four digit passcode lock that you can set, um, but now you can do more than that. If I go to, uh, general, um, passcode lock, I can set, or turn passcode on, just set a temporary number one, and then I can go to simple passcode, turn it off, one the current the temporary one I have was one four one four and now I can enter a new passcode that's full of numbers and you know letters so I'll just do S F eleven six S F one one six next and we'll confirm it real quick And there it is. So if I get out of this, there it is. S F one one six. There it is. So the much better passcode lock. Um, there's also there's also a web Wikipedia search option. So if I go to the spotlight search and I type in this random shit. Nothing here from my iPhone, so I can go to search web or search Wikipedia. And if I go to search web, then it uses the search engine that I picked to look that up. So right now I'm currently using Bing, no results found. Uh, so that is actually really cool. I can, you know, if you were to type in like Obama there or, you know, marijuana or whatever have you, just type it in there, go to search Wikipedia, and you get information on it. So that's actually a very easy way to get information and kind of learn more. Um, there's now a Bing search option, which we kind of just discovered a little bit. If you go to settings, um, go to settings, Safari, search engine, you can pick Google, Yahoo, or Bing. So a lot of iPhone owners are going to like the ability to switch what search engine they're using because I know there are a lot of biases and preferences that different people have. Um, I like Google and Bing a lot. I don't really like Yahoo, but that's just me. Um, there's a YouTube view flexibility. So um, earlier, you guys, or we could only watch YouTube videos like this. So if I go to a YouTube video, let's go to this one. I don't really know what this is. My friends were using this. But if we go, you know, if we're watching this YouTube video, we used to only be able to watch the video this way. Now we can watch it this way and this way. So that's pretty cool just to have that flexibility in there. Uh, it just allows a lot of, you know, user friendliness and, you know, decision and it just makes the phone easier to, you know, watch videos. Um, I'm running out of time in this video, so I think I'll cut this multi or this uh, OS4 video into two parts. But uh, let's wrap up the first part. There's... Uh, Faces and places and photos. So if I go to, um, if I go to photos, these these three pinpoints indicate the three places that I've taken pictures or videos. So there's Hawaii, there's California, and there's New York. So I've taken photos and videos in those three locations, and it seems like those are the only three locations that I've taken pictures in. So that that is kind of cool to be able to know that. There's also a faces thing, so you can you know name faces and photos and do all that crazy stuff. But that is only available in iPhoto, so you need to have a Mac and you need to have iPhoto to be able to do that. That's a little bit more complicated, but I'll make a separate video going over that if you guys request it. Um, I have to wrap up for now. Uh, there are about there are about eight or nine other features of uh, iPhone OS 4 that I want to show you guys. So I guess I'll just put it in a part one. I mean, I'll put it in a part two. So this was part one of iPhone OS 4. This is my 3GS. It's a 16 gigabyte. It came out a year ago. The iPhone 4 comes out in two days. Two days. Uh, so yeah, guys, go on to watch part two uh, from Umails03. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.